Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, last time we met young Raz here, who has infiltrated uh, Camp Whispering Rock, a summer camp for psychics. Yes, good. Now, after meeting a bunch of the campers, and being told we literally can't leave this area until we do it, <clears throat> uh, we're heading off to basic braining, which is up there. But first, I want to indulge my curiosity about something. Oh. Use the left stick to build up momentum, then release. Since I can climb a ladder using both. Hey! Wow. You just found a Psy challenge marker. Let's move that off to the side. Every time you find one of these, your Psy Cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough, and you'll get new Psy powers. All right, rank two before I even go to class. I feel pretty good about that. wondering if uh, fall damage is about to be a thing, but, you know, maybe I didn't fall far enough. I mean, those guys aren't even going at all, so surely I won't get in trouble for being the last one. By the way, I really like this outfit. Hey, where are you going, Lou? Shh, I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> hmm. Benny, put this kid death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield! Your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load your progress, change your options, and there's a helpful map in the back. Press start to open your journal. Uh, on this page you can see what you've collected in the current area. Make sure to come back here after you've collected some figments so you can look at them up close to the figment viewer option. Okay. This page shows how you're doing the bigger scheme of things. Also, once you get your scavenger hunt list, this is where you'll keep it. In this area. Okay. Oh my. A hundred ranks. Goddamn. This page automatically remembers what tasks you're working on. If you're ever unsure what to do next, come back here to jog your memory. Fair enough. Once you've cracked open a mental fault, you'll store the memories you find in here. Come back and watch them as many times as you like. Oh, it's cutscenes! Okay. This handy map shows you the layout of the camp. Your position is marked with an arrow. Your uh, The next place you should go is marked with a crosshairs. If you ever feel like you don't know where to go, come back and check your map. Or come on back and check out your map. Oh, it's right stick to navigate. Uh, uh. And it's moving in the opposite direction that you would expect. When it goes up and down, why do they invert the stick on the map, but not with a camera? Well, there's a lot of shit to do, so, uh... Before things really kicked off, I just wanted to make a quick note that when I did my testing, I unlocked a Steam trading card, and I thought it was funny that I learned my character's full name from the trading card and not from the game itself. Apparently... Oh, yes, yes! And in addition to the fact that his full name is Resputin Raz Aquato. I learned that, uh... Earlier in development, 
uh, he was called something else. They wanted to call him D'Artagnan, uh, like the protagonist of The Three Musketeers. And they were going to call him Dart for short. And I am also absolutely certain they were referencing that when the coach guessed that his name began with a D. I did notice this guy moving around in the cutscene. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? Sorry. The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. I'm sensing a theme with the students here. Oh, that's very funny. I didn't think they would have physics. <laughs> I never actually came up here during my testing. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. Huh. I'm expecting that one to be different. Which is awesome. Sup? Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind? You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Uh, maybe we'll explore a bit more before to prepare for class. Now let's do this. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. What? What? Is that how that works? Wait, the other two weren't wearing hats. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. You ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. With the picture of you? You gonna punch him? No way! You do it! I can't help but notice this right poster back here. I wish I were a man. It just always says something about the coach. Alright. Ah, oh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! Oh, it's made of metal now. Weird. You coming? <laughs> What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! Okay! Noted! Just a curiosity. Okay, yeah, it is the tutorial level, Less so... Waiting, more motivating. Hey, man, I'm doing a Let's Play here. Uh... Oh! Right. Okay. Oh, I've just realized the sky is camo, so that's a nice touch. Holy fuck, coach. Oh, Leander. Huh. Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. Oh, okay. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier! Come on, get that 
Figment. Your first figment. Collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You can look at all the figments you've collected in your journal. Be a figgy piggy! Who's coaches, little piggy? I going, going! So was that one worth three, or did I pick up two other ones and I wasn't looking? I'm looking down there for secrets and goodies, but, you know, it's the tutorial level, so... Hey! What are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Oh! Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. I'm guessing it's that one. My bowels move more than you do, Pokey. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! Sir, no, sir! Uh... <laughs> You're like molasses going uphill in January! With crutches! You're welcome! You hit that ladder hard, son! Show it who's boss! I don't know, you are getting multiples for each one, okay. Or I am, anyway. There's another tag there. And that bully kid. Uh, Bobby Zilch, that's right, that's right, I remember. Oops, missed one. I mean, the enemy soldier, the bombs, and the, uh... The guns I get, I'm not sure why there was a big knife out here. What? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not well, I'm not sure why any of this is happening. This is it sounded like we were going to be reliving his memories, but there's no way this literally happened. I mean, the plants are made of fucking ammo for move, God's sake. Move, move. Is that a soldier? Yes, that's a soldier. For a moment I thought he had one of those safari hats on, and it wouldn't have surprised me in this game. Holy crap in a hat. Watch out! Fire down below! Watch it. Ow, my organs. It takes them just a little bit longer to stop than I would expect. like a test. There's probably a secret more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Zilch's foot, that's what! You're stupid, new okay, kid. Okay, that was admittedly kind of funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. <laughs> Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Thank you. Huh. It is a meaty flower. Uh, can't, not fireproof. I've learned this. Let's so grab some figments. Pardon me. Oh! Shit. I thought I fell off the world there for a second. What does that say? Classified route. Okay. Well done, Raz. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. That's weird. Maybe the uh, the campers' memories bleed through into the world around them. Or something. I don't know. Dang, my bowels 
move more than you do, Pokey. I really hope the rest of the game isn't people nagging at me to keep going because I need to talk to the audience. Uh, I mean, right now I wanted to mention that the uh, the voice actor for Raz is a gentleman by the name of I wrote this down, Richard Stephen Horvitz, who is uh, best known for well, this actually, and also for. Uh, Voicing the titular character in the series Invader Zim. Onward and upward, soldier. No. Or no, I am going down. Okay. Uh, or am I? What? Where the hell am I going? Oh, continue upward. Yes, good. Wait. Wait. Those blimps are figments. Ooh! Nice. It's game day, kid! Where am I meant to be going, anyway? Uh, I'm guessing up there? Yeah, okay, I'm guessing I have to crawl across that. So let's look down here first. You know, because these guys. Nice cannon. I think that was a cartoon coach sitting on the top. Less waiting, more motivating! That was a duck and a helmet. Uh -oh. oh, I just got that. Really? Really? That's what you want me to do? You want me to jump out over that on top of a little blimp? Oh, I regret this decision. No. I don't know what that means. For a moment, I thought those planes were flapping their arms to fly, and that. Oh damn it! I thought. I thought the plane was over here. It definitely doesn't go straight through you. Well, then what the hell is going on with the cannons and stuff up there? There's, uh, figments over like there. like molasses going uphill in January! With crutches! Yeah, that is way too involved not to be where I'm going, so I'm just gonna go over there and grab some figments. Shimmy. Is your name Joey? No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey! That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow! <laughs> nope. I like that the collectibles explicitly don't exist. Oh, no, get back here! Get into my inventory this moment, young man. No, wait, get back here. Stupid pig. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! Hey, you're the one whose head is full of nonsense. I bet the German guy doesn't have duck soldiers in his head. Get down there. Ah! Victory is mine. Mentalis My god, which way am I meant to be going here? I'm very confused. I was trying to get a... Are there any more figments down there? Should I just keep going? Oh god damn it, there are some on the other side. Now I'm confused. I guess I came down from over there. It looks like I just... Oh! Oh, I get it now. That's the platform where I saw the, the the girl looking at the meat plant. Damn. So if I just drop down here, and I miss the plane again, but if I just drop down here, I can go right over here and grab these. Let's not drop back over the other side, though, because then I would have to do all the things again. And then the viewers would kill me. Yeah. 
Centalis Uberalis! Look, I'm doing this because you know the later levels are going to put the figments in places where it's very, very difficult to get them. So I want to make myself feel good by getting all the figments in at least this one. At least the first level. Uh... Less waiting, more motivating! <laughs> Alright, there goes the timer, so, uh... I guess I'll just do the outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Psychonauts when we continue exploring Coach Oleander's mind and prove that we've got what it takes to be Psychonauts! It's game day, kid! Later.